Michael Pitt has just signed on to play the Laughing Man in the remake of, or not remake, the live action creation of the Ghost in the Shell movie. Now, we heard a couple years, no, well, maybe about a year ago, that Scarlett Johansson was going to be taking the role of the major. What's her What's her, uh, her real name? Uh, I think uh, Kusanagi. Um... Something like that. Some, somewhere like in there. Kusanagi, something like that. I, and I'm a big fan of the show, but it's been a while since I've seen the they show. They usually just call her Major. In yeah, the, the Major. In the major. standalone complex, they usually do. There's a newer one where they call her by her actual name, which is why I, I even know it, because they call her by her, her name more. Is that Arise that they call yeah, her by Yeah, in Arise, her? they call her more by her name. Yeah, but, but um, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex was one of the classic anime TV series that's ever come out. Um, they had two big main storylines. And one of them was The Laughing Man. Now, when we heard that the movie was coming out, they hadn't said exactly that they were doing The Laughing Man. Everybody kind of figured they were doing The Laughing Man. That is the bigger of the two main story arcs that you get with Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. Um, the other one is the individual 11, but that's, again, they're doing The Laughing they, Man. They so. also did have a couple uh, animated standalone complex movies, although... But those just did the story arcs in condensed yeah. form. But they also had other ghost in the shell movies made by the i thought made by the group that did it like there was the one older one and then there was the ones that were basically the show and then there was yeah. a couple other ones that were side uh stories there's, there's a lot that goes on yeah. with that there's a lot but of ghost in the shell stuff out there so we heard scarlett johansson was going to be the major in the new adaptation and now we know who the laughing man is now if you don't know who michael pitt is he is probably the main character other than Belushi, or I was gonna say, yeah, Belushi, not Belushi, um, whatever that guy's name is, who's in all the Adam Sandler movies, he's the secondary main character. He's the younger guy, so don't really even know. I don't Empires. know him in much more than that. But um, Boardwalk Empire, he, he was the secondary main guy in Boardwalk Empire. Is what you were saying, right? Yeah, yeah, Michael Pitt, at least. And so now there's a couple things we do know. We do know our director. It's going to be Rupert Sanders. Uh, he did Snow White and the Huntsman. That's really the only thing I could remember, think of that um, he had done. And when I looked him up, that was really about it. <laughs> that uh, He had done screenplays by Jonathan Herman. And now nobody would have heard about him when we first reported on it because he just he did straight out of Compton. So he did the screenplay there, which was uh, he's nominated for an Oscar for it, so it's obviously a really good screenplay. Kind of um, and then we had to, to Scarlett Johansson as the major, and Steven Spielberg apparently is backing this movie. He's not signed on as a producer, but he's backing the movie, so I don't really know how much involvement Steven Spielberg will have, but he does think that this is a good project to jump into. So we have a pretty good cast shaping up. We have pretty good guys surrounding it. Well, hopefully pretty good guys and unknown. Um yeah. But I, I am excited I to see the story to, on the big screen. I don't even know what to, to think of of that group because I wouldn't say anyone involved is is bad. It just seems like a strange group to come together for Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. But but and uh, then you had I, Avi and, and Arya. Um, Arad. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah, it, it just it just seems like it's going to be interesting. Now this this is a really cool story to tackle. I am excited to see Ghost in the Shell, a standalone complex. I guess they're going to call it Laughing Man, um, pop up on the big screen. It should work out pretty well. If you don't really know the story of the, the Laughing Man, in the future, everybody has some sort of cybernetics plugged into themselves. Most people with eyes, some people with brains, oh, a lot of people with brains, some people with entire bodies that are cybernetic. And you don't quite know who's all robot and who's cyborg and what makes a cyborg human if it's AI can think and feel um, that's kind of where the ghost in the shell type thing comes from. And Laughing Man is a hacker who runs around doing not so nice things to people, but nobody knows who he is because he hacks your eyeballs and makes you see this like overlay of like a face. He can change your uh, memories even. He can do. Yeah, he can even change your memories. So... And he can do it very rapidly. <laughs> and, and he's a, on yeah, many a people at once. So it's 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 interesting story concept it's going to be something new that we haven't really seen and in terms of animes this is one of the better ones i'd say to take to the big screen because a lot of animes i mean don't get me wrong i'm an anime fan their stories get pretty convoluted sometimes uh, a lot of times they they keep you going down one path and then all of a sudden four episodes left we're totally going to switch it all up and change it for the end 
And that doesn't quite work with Western media, I wouldn't say. You have to, you can have twists, that's no problem, but they can't be so far fetched that it's just like in the realm of impossibility one moment and then now totally possible, which happens with a lot of animes, unfortunately. Um, but it didn't happen with Ghost in the Shell, so this is a good place to go. Um, I, I don't know, Brennan, what are you looking forward to most with the Ghost in the Shell movie? Well, I would say that I am excited that it's going to be Laughing Man because the Laughing Man storyline is from what I've seen of Ghost in the Shell, and I, I like Ghost in the Shell a lot, so I've seen a good bit of different um, iterations of Ghost in the Shell. The Laughing Man storyline is, is my favorite by yeah, far. Yeah, that was the best. Um, and the Laughing Man character um, is one of the most intriguing to come up um and other things that they do um i'm going to guess i'm I'm trying to like guess at some things that they're going to obviously cut out um but from the tv show version but they're going to obviously be changing up the story to fit this new format to give us new uh like unexpected things going on i kind of wonder how much they're going to deviate uh with regards to laughing man character because ghost and shell standalone complex is is a very well-known anime so they're not going to be surprising anyone if they just keep yeah they're going to change up some things i think they'll keep the characters relatively similar to what they have like all the basic characters are there her squad will be the same but i bet you we're going to see a little bit because there is a little bit of a twist towards the end of the laughing man story arc so they'll probably play around with that yeah yeah Um, so they'll probably play around with that they won't really keep that the same and you kind of need to and that's the one thing that you could you could and, really change is that little twist towards the end. It, it works well. It's not like it's like crazy, like, oh, my God, this changes everything. It does. It does keep you guessing um, to, to that moment. And then after that happens, you kind of turn and it's like, OK, we're pivoting directions, but it still still keeps the momentum. So I guess the real question in my head is what they're going to do with um, the the philosophical questions that Ghost and Shell always has whether which the Japanese producers and the anime adaptations have always kept up in various ways. There's always kind of a different question. Um, I, though I wonder if they'll try to avoid going so heavy into that. Yeah, in they won't American get so deep into that. They won't get so deep into that, I can't imagine, just because, one, they won't have enough time to get into that because that's something that's developed over episodes and I believe it's like a 24 episode arc, so that's like 12 hours worth of uh, anime for, yes. the, for, for the Laughing Man series. And there's definitely certain questions that so. they they can't go into, like the yeah. some of the side characters that deal with certain of those questions that they can cut out. But they did it also in the the original um, major animated movie, um, Ghost in the Shell. It was all around that the a that's different side si- um, philosophical question about the. Di- it's usually something to do with the difference between man and machine, right? Um, when 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 the machine can think and feel and exactly and might be the, the man is put into the machine yeah it's it's one of those things so yeah so it's all overall i'm pretty excited about this movie coming out let us know what you think are you excited do you think they'll change up the story drastically or they'll keep it the same and was this michael pitt a good casting uh hit us up let us know comments down below of course at where's my face on twitter google plus facebook always good ways of getting a hold of us okay.